Today, we're an archaeologist, but for some reason, we kill everything we come across. You're a, a teacher? Part-time. Which sometimes drops us loot, which helps us kill more things. And this is a pretty good start. These gloves we found give us plus 0.23 auto clicks a second, and a sword that gives us extra click damage. Do I hear glass cannon coming up? I do use the game's auto clicker, mostly because I disabled my own auto clicker and that would make it too easy, but we did just find two new items. A boring necklace that gives us 9 intelligence, and some rare boots that give us dexterity, intelligence, and extra gold. And so far we're going to find little resistance, we did also just find some rare goggles. Those are going to give us 6.5 strength, 4.4 dexterity, 3% crit chance, which is actually huge when I think about it. And currently we have a 9% crit chance, we do 0.25 auto clicks a second, so it'd be nice to get that up, and 4.4 click damage. So the way to get damage is either to increase strength or dexterity, either through straight click damage or hits per second. We're going to increase our dexterity for a second, because we had stat points to spend, auto clicks a second didn't go up, so let's just go for pure damage. We don't have to hit a lot, we just have to do a lot of damage when we do. And so far, nothing is posing us a problem because we're very early on. We're just hitting basic idiots, hopefully getting the right kind of gear to take us deep. Uh, so apparently then when you get three of the same type of item, it upgrades into a new one. I guess that's what auto fusion is, so we now have a blue sword. Which does less damage in our green. It does boost our strength though, so we'll maybe swap to that. Uh, there's a rare cape, but I do want to kill a few things in a row. And when I do get desperate, I can manually click to do a little extra damage. The auto clicker is good, manual clicking is better, I'm just really lazy. And this new cape is going to do extra auto clicks per second, so that's actually a big damage increase. And since I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm just going to do what I always do and hope the damage carries me through the game. Glass cannon all the way. But I'm actually really enjoying this. It's very simple, but it has enough depth that is keeping me very engaged. I just love that loot. What I really want though is some legendary loot. Or some items that help me find more loot would also be acceptable. Our health is getting down to just a little bit. Oh, we leveled up so we got our health back. Okay, we just picked up another cape and yeah, I thought so. We're going to combine that into a green cape which is probably going to be worse than the one we're using now. If my health does get too low, I have one skill that can actually give me a little bit of healing. Up to half your energy to heal 1.07. Yeah, it'll give me some healing if I do get low. But there's another level up so let's check in on our items real quick. Nothing's really changed there but we do now start to get skills. The nightmare begins. We need to pick one kind of uh, skill tree to go with. This one does poison. This one does powder, active item. That's all about energy. This one's basically more auto clicks and critical hits. We're going damage. I mean, I'm shocked. So we're now doing 5.08 auto clicks a second at 4.7 damage. Uh, and the critical hits definitely add up because we just melted that bear. Here comes a wolf. It's going to die too. And that's with me not manually clicking. Ooh, just found some rare gloves. So those are probably going to be an increase. These give us... Damage resist, HP, less auto clicks per second, but the extra stats probably count for something. Oh, and we just combined some gloves into, don't want those. I really like all the loot I'm finding. Here's a wolf. Uh, things are definitely getting stronger. That's a level seven, level seven wolf, but we leveled up because of that. So we can get crit chance, crit multiplier, or plus 5% uh, auto clicks attack speed. We're going to go for that because I think at least one of those levels is going to make a pretty big difference. I feel like we're doing pretty well gear wise too, because we have basically rare gear. Uh, and we now have a green necklace as well, which is slightly better than what we have now. I don't really understand what slimes are. We fight wolves and bears, which I'm pretty sure are real things. And then we fight a slime, which is probably not a real thing as far as I know. But maybe I should go outside more. There's more rare gloves. These are going to give me faster auto click. Uh, life regen. Yeah, I like those. And I kind of keep forgetting to place my skills. We're going to do a plus 20% crit multiplier. So now when we're doing critical hits, we're doing even more damage. And uh, the enemies are getting stronger, so we're going to need that extra damage. Okay, we're coming up to the boss finally before fighting him. Let's maybe add another skill. I, uh, I don't really need a 1% crit chance. That's not much. Maybe plus 5% auto clicks attack speed. Though I am manually clicking, especially against a boss. We're going to click on him a lot. He's very resistant to our damage. I thought we were doing more damage in this. I think we're going to get him. I'm not even going to heal. I'm just going to I'm just going to outrun him. Come on, we could do it. I got him, but only barely, mostly because I missed my clicking. OK, and now we get to pick one of these. Uh, so you are immune to the first enemy hit every fight. That's not huge. Every time you activate an item, you have 20% chance to double its effect. I want bottled fairy. I get 30% of my HP back every 10 to 20 seconds. I could further exploit that by uh, giving myself a lot of HP and then it would heal a massive amount automatically. Oh, speaking of which, I'm very low on health. Let's use that. I didn't realize I was that low. I thought the boss might heal me a little bit. Okay, there is a level up. And now that I'm in uh, this new area, I'm going to get tier two items, which are considerably better. This is a white that gives me plus six click damage, 
My one now gives me one. Maybe critical hits weren't the way to go. Maybe poison's a better option. But let's just keep adding crit multipliers and hopefully the critical hits can carry me through. I'm going critical hit build. I don't know what kind of archaeologist we are. We're just killing living things. I'm pretty sure that's not what an archaeologist does. Trust me. Okay, I'm going back to this using the auto clicker that's in the game because I just can't be bothered to click that much anymore. I need more coffee for that. I did find a blue sword in behind and we got cards. Uh, this would be good if I had better equipment on. I still might do it now. Improves your equipped items by one tier. I think we had a lot of blues, so that's going to turn them into purples. Next normal enemy you encounter is a Mimic. I'm going to replace all my gear anyway, so that's useless. I don't know what a Mimic is or what the significance of it is. Blue sword though. 7 click damage, 9% items found is huge. So yeah, we're taking this. So our click damage is now almost 15. 5 auto clicks a second, and our critical hit multiplier is 160%. I'm going to go back to upgrading dexterity every time because we need those crits. Okay, this is the Mimic I, I summoned for some reason. I'm assuming it gives us something when we kill it. I don't know why I would do this otherwise. And he died and... Ooh, a purple necklace. I'll take that. 10.8 strength. More items found. Big crit chance. HP compared to uh, this thing we're using now. So easy choice. Uh, and we got lots of gold from that actually. I just realized he dropped a bunch of silver coins that I do need to manually touch. So we're going to add another 20% crit multiplier. I would love to open some of these, but we need more levels for that. Ooh, we did find more cards after that guy. Face the boss of this zone immediately. Oh, that's tempting, but I think I need better gear before that. I think I'm just going to instantly gain 10 of all stats. That's really big. I just need to pay attention to my health. The fairy is still healing me for a lot. Uh, there's an extra skill point, so we're going to do more crit damage again. Eventually, I'm hoping to just be able to one-shot kill enemies. There's a blue cape, which is going to give me damage resistance, 5 to all the tributes. We're going to lose a little bit of auto-click, but all the tributes as well, because I get healing and damage. Yeah, this so far is good. I was running out of damage for a little while in the other zone. Now we're in this zone. I'm feeling okay. I do need to continually check even finding boring items because as we find new ones, it eliminates the oldest items, but they will combine automatically occasionally. There's another level up, so I get another skill point. Let's do plus 5% auto-click attack speed. Okay, enemies are definitely getting stronger here though because look at my health. I need to keep a close eye on that. Okay, I actually just used my healing for the first time because suddenly enemies are doing tons of damage. So let's add more crit multiplier because every one of those is going to be a big jump up for damage. Next enemy has doubled HP and attack but will drop a legendary item. I have to go for that. There's no way I'm not going to do that. Oh, my healing isn't ready though. What is this thing? We're going to click, 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 click. I'm going to have to use my healing leg right now. Use it, use it. Oh, I was hitting the wrong thing. Is he dead? I'm dead. That wasn't worth the risk. But all the gold I've collected, I can use on new upgrades. Plus 15% base item found chance. Great. Uh, well, plus 1 base damage, plus 20 base strength. Poison damage. Oh, this will actually give me a resurrection. Uh, dexterity wouldn't hurt. I think I could probably buy most of these, except for Mimic for 2,000. Oh, and Mr. Toad, but we got lots more base damage now. Okay, so let's try that again in a less stupid way, plus we have a resurrection. So if we run... Legendary gloves? Why did we start with legendary gloves? I'm not complaining, I'm just impressed that happened. Faster auto click, life regen, damage resist, dexterity, extra gold found. So I probably won't replace those gloves until we're in the tier 2s. Okay, I was making my way through the easy idiots and I got the moon again. Next enemy doubled HP and attack, we'll drop a legendary item. We're gonna go for this again because we don't learn anything from our mistakes. Uh, luckily this was a weak frog, so legendary goggles. Those give me tons of strength, huge crit multiplier, a uh, huge crit chance, and XP gain. So those are hugely good. And this time I'm going to go with poison. Every click grants you a 7% click poison damage buff lasting 2 seconds. As it is, we're doing 6 click damage at 0.49 a second, uh, 2.5 damage per stack. And more cards, so I'm definitely getting better luck overall here. I don't really love any of these. I'm not really sure what this does. The next unresearched monster you encounter will be automatically researched. Sure, let's do some research. Uh, this can also get me plus one click damage per skill point or plus two poison damage per skill point. I'm going to add poison damage for now. I think that's going to be good against the tougher enemies like bosses. And that doesn't do you working out because once that poison gets going, the enemy's health drops immediately. So I'm going to stack lots of poison damage. And more cards again. Triples your gold, then you lose. I don't want gold, I want strength. Because my click damage jumped up to 9.2 and my poison damage is 6. And that's going to go up continuously. And our capes just auto-evolved into a blue cape, so that's actually going to be better than that. 
And then I found a purple necklace, which gives me intelligence, dexterity, energy regen, and strength. It kind of sucks to lose that rare item, though. I'm going to stick with this just because it helps me find rare items. Moving forward, that's probably going to be worth it. Oh, we're at the frog already. Let's see if that poison damage helps us this time. And so far it is. He's down to half health and we've really taken no damage at all. Uh, I'm going to go with Haunted Necklace. After 5 seconds without clicking, gain 20% auto-click damage. The other ones aren't that interesting. And uh, now we're on to the level 2 idiots. I'm going to go back to auto-clicking for a sec because it's good enough and I'm lazy. Uh, and I'm just going to keep stacking poison damage for the time being. And I'm going to build up just a few tier 2 items before I bother to swap over. That way we get a more dramatic effect of it. Oh, that's not a necklace, that's a headpiece. So that's got to replace my legendary. But I think it's probably worth it. I didn't realize how bad my sword was too. So my sword now gives me one click damage with 1% crit. This one gives me nine click damage. So it just added eight click damage. Uh, and then I'm going to add plus two poison damage again. Okay, I now have three of these basic swords. Uh, so I'm going to put that into my inventory if I can. And then they should auto merge into a green sword, which is hopefully better than the white one. Yeah, it's going to give me a little more click damage plus HP. So things die quicker and I'm a little tougher. I have 33 HP total. There's another green sword. And a purple cape. I level off and it hands out loot for me. So damage resistance, crit multiplier, strength. I think I'm going to go for this one just because of all those stats. Look at my stats going up though. We're up to 29 click damage, 27 poison damage a second. We're so much stronger than we were. Okay, I just found a new blue necklace that I think has to replace mine. I'm going to lose that item rarity, but I get extra poison and extra strength. Plus, we're fighting these beetle things now, which have 1200 HP, so we're going to need that extra damage. Oh, I remember this guy. This is the guy that killed me last time because we doubled his stats. We melted him this time, though. We're also fighting birds a lot, but these zombies are kind of tough. Luckily, our poison is enough to tear through them. Especially when we add extra poison damage to that. And we're going to get some better boots potentially here. They're going to be blue. Oh, and then we're also going to kill this guy. Okay, we found more boots that auto-combined into better boots. And then something else also triggered. So they're having like a chain reaction. So we got better gloves potentially. It's really a shame to let those legendaries go, but I might need this. I think I'm still going to keep these on just because of the regen and damage resist. I think those are helping me. The rare boots, however, we might use. If I could find new legendary items, that would be good. A legendary sword would be great. So game, if you're listening, give me one of those. It's trying to give me better gloves. We now have these, which give me gold, strength, and auto-click. Which still isn't enough to coax me away from my legendary gloves. I'm being very stubborn about those. And we just got our extra stack of poison damage. Uh, so now we can add poison stacks. Or huge 2.5% of your click damage is added to your poison damage. What would that be? That's not a lot yet, but as my click damage goes up, that will make a difference. It would add a little over 1 damage right now, I think, if my mental math is correct. Think we're coming up to the boss pretty soon. Can't wait to see what that's all about. And I do have a level up, so I get one of these new skill points. So we're going to take an extra poison stack, because that should add an extra 30 poison damage per whatever. And here's our boss. Hello there. So once that poison gets going, yeah, he's melting so far. We haven't even had to use my own healing in a while. But they're about dead. Done. Plus two max poison stack would be very good, but each click heals you for 0.3% of your max HP. Also good. Plus, we got a white sword, which combined into a green, which is now combined into a blue. So we're going to start with a better sword, hopefully. Uh, we get more items found, about the same click damage and crit chance. Why not? Okay, we moved on to killing reindeer. I'm just going to auto-click them to see exactly how tough they are. We are healing ourselves for clicks, but they're very tough. They're fighting back. Purple boots. I like these ones. So, northern man's going to die. We're an archaeologist officially just going around killing northern men now. I'm not really sure that's archaeology, but I don't have a degree either. Trust me. Okay, our click damage is up to 37, so our poison damage is up to 50. So let's add this. 2.5% of my click damage converts to poison, so what did that send my poison up to? Okay, it dropped. I don't know why. And I found a purple... I don't know what that is. A helmet? Oh, that's a body piece. So that gets me damage resist, uh, less HP, but life regen a second, and a huge crit multiplier. So that's definitely going to help me resist. I only have 37 HP, so I need to be careful with that. The enemies have tons, though, so it's a little hard. This guy has 5,000 HP, but our poison helps take care of him. There's another level up, so we get another poison stack, which is tons of extra damage for us, and we found some new stuff. I'm not really sure what efficiency is. Efficiency improves the effects of your active items. I'm not really sure what constitutes as an active item, but we're going to go with that for now. And we got more cards. Well, we definitely want a legendary item now. Next idiot's gonna have double everything, but I'm up to the task. I know how strong I am. Uh, he's a little stronger than I took him for. We're gonna heal ourselves right away. I wish I had my auto clicker now. Uh-oh, I can't click fast enough. My th fingers getting tired. Uh-oh. 
We we do res with half health though. So come on, we could do it. We could do it. I really gotta stop playing this game with these idiots. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be hard to believe, but my glass cannon build is starting to let me down a little bit. I did just find this nice blue sword, which is gonna give me more items and more click damage, but I think I'm in trouble because we can heal through things, but without like a heal on hit like we had last time, we're losing this battle fairly fast. Like even now I'm down to half health, I'm gonna use my extra thing, which is gonna give me extra auto clicker. And we're basically like going from healing to healing, trying to get through these guys because they're just so strong now. This actually kind of helps. Heal all your HP and gain a shield equal to your max HP. Yes. Okay, we just leveled up and that actually saved me because I was about to die otherwise. And I'm probably still about to die, but we're pushing through. And we just found a new enemy to fight, so that's not super inspiring to me because those are going to be stronger. We did find new purple boots that can replace my old purple boots. They're going to give me regen life, which is going to be nice. Okay, Santa, you're going to die. One of us is going to die. That was close. I just need like super HP uh, regeneration or something. We're healing right now, but he's killing us faster than we can actually heal through. So this is actually harder than I thought. But oh yeah, I've got a better uh, revive, which is only going to carry us a little bit further because the enemies are just so stupidly strong now. And there's a polar bear just to make it even harder for me. It's a poison polar bear. and We leveled up, so we'll make it a little further. So glass cannon is fun and all, but as per usual, it seems to have its drawbacks for some reason. I did just find a legendary tier 3 sword though, so that might actually help a little bit. It's the same click damage, about the same item found, but then it has efficiency, crit chance, and HP. There's another legendary item, uh, which probably isn't going to save me, but we get more damage resist slightly. Life regen, which is very nice. Uh, extra auto clicks. Yeah, this is actually pretty good. $9 attributes. Well, speaking bluntly, it's very good, but we're dead. That gets hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Very fun game, though.